Hey there team, your mate Barry Watson here. Great to see you again, I hope you're doing well. Now one of the great things about going on overnight backpacking trips is that you get to meet a whole lot of cool people along the way, while at the same time being able to see some of the really good sleeping systems and tents that they use. So today I'd like to show you some of these tents that I've seen, which aren't as common in some cases as others are, and I'd also like to share with you a shocking and startling campsite robbery story. So if you're ready, Let's get into it. So first up are my friends Curtis and Antonia, whose adventures you can actually check out on YouTube. They have an award-winning and very interesting shaped X-Mid 2 tent. And although this tent is supported by two trekking poles and is double walled, it doesn't have the normal symmetrical design, but rather maximizes sleeping and gear space by shifting the inner to a 45 degree angle to the outer. It looks very interesting. This tent also comes with longer length fly, which provides provides a really good protection against draft and splashback from the rain. As day one came to a close, stronger winds were forecast for later that night and beyond. So as the sun set and the wind started to pick up, it gave us a really good chance in the morning to see how well our tents coped in moderate wind conditions. I think though that my tent would have fared a lot better though if I'd only pitched it in ways into the wind and also had a couple of extra guy lines on each of the two sides. Next tent we came across was the American brand Big Agnes. At just over 1kg this lightweight two person tent has double doors and is supported by good DAC aluminium poles. And with its smaller floor size it can squeeze into some places that larger tents would struggle to fit into. The fabric though on the floor and the fly is very thin hence why it's so light. So I'd suggest using a footprint and only using this tent in three season conditions. The Copper Spur range is also another range of Big Agnes tents that are really popular amongst some backpackers. Nah, nah, you must be joking, right? A couple shared with us a really shocking experience they had when they stayed at a public camping ground overseas that was notorious for thieves stealing things from people's tents. And true to its reputation, the thief struck that night in a way that was both creative and highly despicable. As the couple lay there sound asleep, the thief used a sharp knife to cut the end of their tent and literally stole all they could get their hands on. And although tenacious tape has covered up the damage, it certainly hasn't erased their memory of this awful experience. One sleep system that's quite popular among some backpackers is a hammock. And although you can use your poles, it's ideally suited when there's plenty of trees around and you literally want the freedom of swinging in the breeze. Since I prefer camping above the bush and the snow line, it's not something yet that I've experienced. Next up is what you might get when you cross a tent with a bivy bag. MacPack called their equivalent the cocoon, which I think really aptly describes these types of overnight shelters. They either have two or three small poles, which usually provide enough room for you and or modest amounts of your gear. This is the inside of this one man tent, one woman tent. One thing to watch though is condensation, however, if you can master that, this is a really good lightweight sleeping system. The Kathmandu Lanson, which isn't to be confused with the UK brand of a similar name, has a single door, two 9mm strong DAC poles, good waterproofing levels on the floor, and even though it's technically a two person tent, the two people I do know who own one prefer the comfort and the room of sleeping in it by themselves. Thanks for coming along today on this journey, it's been great to have you. Now what about the tent that you use or know of which isn't as common as others are? Please put that in the comments, I'd love to be able to hear what that is. And of course, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And until I see you in the next action-packed, enthralling and informative video, always stay safe, stay strong. See you in the next one everyone, bye. <laughs>